This class is designed to help the student of class 10 who are preparing for SEE examination. We are continuing the same chapter force, but today's focus is on the relation between the gravitational force between two bodies with the mass and distance. Look at this. Gravitational force between two bodies, how it is related to mass, if mass increases, gravitational force increases, if distance increases, gravitational force decreases. Because in previous class also, according to, we, uh, we know that according to Newton's law of gravitation, the gravitational force between two bodies is directly proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between their centers. Now let's create one numerical problem or one, one derivation. Question is, what will be the effect on the gravitational force between two bodies when one of the mass is doubled? Remember this, what will be the effect on gravitational force between two bodies when one of the mass is doubled? How to, how to get the solution? Uh, in uh, solution, you don't have to show this uh, diagram, but to make you clear only, I made this. Let's say M1 and M2 are two masses and they are separated by a distance D. You have to start from this place. Let M1 and M2 are two bodies separated by a distance D. Now, according to Newton's law of gravitation, the gravitational force between them is F equal to G M1 M2 by D square. This is equation number one. When one of the mass is doubled, then what happens? Then equation becomes different. Now, new gravitational force will be equal to capital Z. Let's say one of the mass, this M1 is doubled. M1 is if doubled, then we in, instead of writing 2, instead of writing M1, I'm writing 2 M1, M2 by D square. Now, this is equal to 2 Z M1 m2 by d square now let's make it equation number two now comparing equation one and equation two now g m1 m2 by d square is equal, equal to f it means this g m1 m2 by d square instead of this i'm writing f it means two times f what it mean F nu is equal to 2 times F. It means new gravitational force is double than the previous than the previous previous gravitational force. previous gravitational force. Now this is the conclusion. The new gravitational force is double than the previous gravitational force. Now I want to change question. Instead of the previous question, if question is like this, what will be the effect on gravitational force between two bodies when both the masses are doubled? When both the masses are doubled. Now we can uh, solve this in this way. Look at this. If M1 let M1 and M2 are two bodies separated by a distance d. According to Newton's law of gravitation, the gravitational force between them is this. This is, the, up to this is same. When, not only one mass, when both the masses are doubled, double then what happens new gravitational force will be g m2 m1 is also double m2 is also double and d remains same distance is same that's why the final conclusion is now what happens 2 to the 4 that's why 4 is taken first and number is taken first and g and then m1 and m2 by d square. This is equation number two. Now comparing equation one and two, what we get now f nu, new gravitational force will be, look at this, g m1 m2 by d square, g m1 m2 by d square can be written as f. That's why 4f. 4f. 
What is the conclusion? New gravitational force is not double. Four times is four times the previous gravitation force. This way we can conclude. Now next, let's talk about next. Okay, we are not talking about mass. Let's talk about distance. What will be the effect on gravitational force between two bodies when the distance between them is doubled? Not this much distance. When distance is doubled means the object is taken to this distance. This is not the distance. Now distance is double 2D and this is M2. Now what can we write? Look at this. Let M1 and M2 are the two bodies separated by a distance D. According to Newton's law of gravitation, the gravitational force between them is F, G, M1, M2 by D squared, same. When distance is doubled, when distance between them is doubled, then what happens? Now, now F remain, uh, G remains same, M1 is same, M2 is same, but distance is doubled, 2D, and 2D squared, instead of being D squared, 2D squared, and this is equal to capital G, M1, M2 by 4D squared, and this is equal to 1 by 4, capital G, M1, M2 by D squared. Now, let's take it second, then let's take it as second equation. Now, comparing equation 1 and 2, what is F nu? New gravitational force will be G M1 M2 by D squared can be taken as F. That's why 1 by 4 F. What is the meaning? Meaning is new gravitational force is not 4 times, only 1 by 4 of the previous gravitational force. This way we can conclude. Now next, what will be the uh, change in gravitational force between two bodies when distance between them is halved, just half. If the distance between them is reduced to half, then they come close to each other. Let's say this is M1, this is M2, and distance between them is D. Now, the same, same way, we, what can we do? Let M1 and M2 are two heavenly bodies, two bodies, maybe heavenly, may not be, heavenly bodies separated by or distance D. According to Newton's law of gravitation, the gravitational force between them is this much same. Now, when distance between them is not doubled, it is halved. Then what happens? New gravitational force will be what? Distance is altered. G remains same. M1 remains same. M2 remains same. Distance is half means instead of D, D by 2 whole square. Now this is equal to capital G, M1, M2 by D square by 2 square means 4. It goes up. This is equal to 4. G, M1, M2 by D square. Now, it, this is equation number 2. Now, what can we say? Comparing equation 1 and 2, the new gravitational force will be, now G M1 M2 by D squared can be taken as F, that's why 4F, that's why, therefore, new gravitational force is 4 times times the previous gravitational force. In this way, the relation between the gravitational force and mass, relation between gravitational force and distance can be asked in examination uh, in, uh, in the sense of numerical problem. We can solve this way.